the wait is over. There are few bigger days on the football calendar than Champions League final day. Fans are beginning to pour into the stadium and the tension is palpable. It's Manchester City. They take on Inter next on EA TV. Well, there's nothing quite like this occasion. Welcome to the UEFA Champions League final. The best two teams in Europe this season preparing to go head-to-head -head for the crowd. This is Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined as always on these big occasions by Stuart Robson. It is Manchester City up against Inter. Well, Derek, this is magnificent. The atmosphere inside this stadium is electric. Let's just hope the tension doesn't affect the players. It shouldn't do. Just look at the quality down there. Introducing the starting players for Manchester City. Everson is the goalkeeper. Manuel Akanji plays with Kyle Walker as fullbacks. Kevin De Bruyne plays alongside Rodri in the centre of midfield. And the main threat in attack today should be Erling Haaland. And this is how it looks for Inter. Alessandro Bastoni plays with Francesco Acerbi in central defence. Hakan Chalhanolu starts alongside Nicolo Barella in the centre of midfield. And leading the attack today, Lautaro Martinez plays alongside Romelu Lukaku. And they're underway now in the Champions League final. We're about to find out which team is the best in Europe. Might be able to get in behind the defence. Free kick awarded then by the referee. And a good tackle. Martinez and the snuffing out of the cross there and the referee blows for a foul <laughs> and Manchester City will go to their bench <laughs> a deep delivery well, when it left the boot, I thought it might have a chance of fooling the keeper, but it didn't. That's very effective, good high pressing. And they need to get tighter. Takes aim! Oh, good reflexes from the keeper, and the danger averted. Kevin De Bruyne with the corner. Oh, could you imagine the connection? More pure than that. Simply out of this world. Well, just look at this. He couldn't have hit it any better, could he? This is the perfect example of a bicycle kick. And 
back underway. 1-0 it is. Martinez. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Stones. Being pressed hard. Ruben Dias. Manuel Akanji. It's with Gundogan. And an astute piece of defending. Dumfries. Martinez. Well, closed down straight away. De Bruyne. Gundogan. The ball with Rodri. Rodri. De Bruyne now. Gundogan. Manuel Akanji. On to Holland. De Bruyne in the centre. Making sure nothing untoward happened. Rodri. Not the easiest of situations for the keeper. Now sending it in. It's not a particularly good corner there. Well, he's lost the ball. A City free kick forthcoming. No problems for the keeper. Read it well. Holland. Chalanolu. Now can they counter clinically? Lukaku. Bad pass. Lukaku. Lukaku. Holland. And a decent save. Full credit. Well, not a red card. Just a yellow. Interesting one, Stuart. Well, I have to say, I think the referee's got that absolutely right. I don't think it was a red card. I'm not sure it was a goal-scoring opportunity. Who can he pick out? Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. Happy to take on the shot. Oh, dealt with by the goalkeeper. Cleared away. Well, they're sitting ever deeper. Well, the power was there. Not really the placement, however. Goal kick. Di Marco Martinez Slipshod passing Well as you can see City have dominated possession in the last 15 minutes and with it have created some great openings and certainly look as though they get another before too long
given away by Inter. Holland. And a fantastic diving save. Put in by De Bruyne. Plastered away. Nicely saved. Firing is over. Well, the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. And they get the ball rolling in the Champions League final. We're about to find out who will be crowned Club Kings of Europe. <laughs> 45 minutes separating these two sides from glory. The second half of the Champions League final begins. Di Marco. And as they continue to pass it around, the attack goes through Lukaku. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Di Marco. Now he must favour the cross. Look at the touchline for what will be an inter throw. That's what you call defending from the front. Possibilities here. Just straying offside. Holland. Clean challenge. Federico Di Marco. Francesco Acerbi and a throw for Inter well they've been getting the substitute ready and now they will make the personnel change Francesco Acerbi Foden and he's made headway and a goal I'll tell you what, they're going to be very hard to catch now. Name on the trophy, maybe. Well, it's great awareness of space in the box, and then he shows a lot of composure with the finish. That's a clever goal. So the ball rolling again, 2-0 the score. And since they have the ball, a referee playing advantage here. Well, as the stats confirm, City have controlled the ball. Yes, they've played well when going forward, but it's been their ability to regain the ball, which has made them so hard. And it's two for him today. A masterful performance. The defenders unable to stop it. Well, here it is again, and what a perfect cross into the box this is. Just inviting someone to attack it, and then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal. Whoa! 
The game continues then, and it's been all City. Dumfries. Played into the box. Struggling to get it away. Threat over for now, it seems. That's useful play. Barella. Lukaku! And it's come off the keeper. And a time for calm on the ball. Grealish. Now Holland. Perfect tackle. De Bruyne. 20 minutes to go in this one. Holland. A deft clearance. A City free kick forthcoming. And with play stop, they will make a change now. Grealish Speculative effort here Well he didn't miss by all that much Well he struck it quite nicely But the keeper was always in control of the situation He knew that was going wide Fifteen minutes left for play. They couldn't maintain possession. Now options are plenty. Well, didn't go to plan in the end. Space afforded him. Oh, that's a fine ball. What a performance! Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back, but the keeper should do better at his near post. That's gone in far too easily. That's not good goalkeeping. about the outcome surely they now have been removed chances on well really fine goalkeeping good diving stop they decided that now is the time to go to the bench And over comes the corner. Goalkeeper's ball, it was always going to be that way. Needs to tread carefully. The referee has decided to give the free kick decision the way of City. Well, no card, but I think he can consider himself suitably warned.
takes on the shot. Understandably, he wanted to give it a go, but straight at the keeper. And now, passing it through. Oh, he could be in trouble here. Well, under those circumstances, any referee would really be put to the test. And in this case, a booking steward. Well, it's a difficult decision, but I'm with the ref here. No red card for me. Decent effort there. Well, he has such good technique. He really did hit that well. He certainly came close there. Well, there's the confirmation. That was nowhere near to crossing the line, was it? Well, wait, don't go anywhere. We're going to have five additional minutes. And snuffing out the danger. Barella, plenty of support here, and credit is due for that good piece of defending. Barella. And there it is, a goal, but will it be purely a consolation at this stage of the proceedings? They haven't been at their best. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just watch his technique here. He just hits through the back of the ball with such power. There's no stopping that. And there it is, full-time Manchester City Champions League winners. Well, just look at the emotions out there. Joy and relief on one side, despair and heartache on the other. But we've got the right winners here. They fully deserved it on the night. For these players, well, it's the night of their lives. And they're determined to enjoy every millisecond. Well, they have to make the most of this, don't they? It's a great feat. What an achievement from them. Well, they don't need to be reminded about what comes next. It's the presentation of the coveted Champions League trophy. Well, there's some tired players out there, but what you can be sure of, they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy. They'll be going mad in the next few moments. The Champions League winners, Manchester City. Well, this is what they wanted. What a moment for these players. They've worked so hard to win this trophy. They've been fantastic. And you can feel the emotion. It's natural to reflect on this final, but so much hard work has gone into the entire campaign. Memories, memories. What would a celebration be without the chance to enjoy it with your own supporters? Well, these fans have certainly played their part, haven't they? They'll savour these moments. They've travelled far and wide to follow their team. They're loving every minute of this, and why not? They deserve it. A performance of fire as well as ice. They held their nerve when that was necessary. And these celebrations will run long into the night. Well, these are the moments they have to make the most of. It doesn't happen very often, does it? These will be photos to cherish for years to come. Brilliant stuff. The Champions League victors, Manchester City. And they need to get tighter. Takes aim. Oh, good.